Hi everyone, this is Bonus and today's video is all about the Kalde Terms 14th video, right? So today's note is all about the ganache and the ratio. I have shared a nice trick where you can easily remember the ganache and their ratio. So watch till end to understand the ganache and the trick, right? So let's start the session. So let's start. The first point we have here is Welsh rabbit. A Welsh dish consisting of a hot cheese based sauce served over the slice of a toasted bread. Right? Simple as that. Hot cheese based sauce which is served over the toasted bread. That's all. This is all about the Welsh rabbit. But due to this, you can see the rabbit out of BBIT. So this is like shows that the dish contains rabbit. So later they change the name into rabbit. R A R E R A R E B I T. Right? So so they reinterpret it as rabbit. It's not rabbit. And the dish contains no rabbit. <laughs> Clear with this. Let's see the next. Darn. To cut a vegetable into a neat seven side oval shape. Right? That particular shape we call as a darn. Clear with this. Let's see the next. Wheat berry. The whole wheat grain without the hull. As simple as that, right? And that particular wheat is known as wheat berry. <laughs> Clear? Let's see the next. So, next we have is a submersion method. Method by which fish and other items are cooked completely submerged in a coat bullion. You know what is coat bullion? I'll share the link where I have explained in detail that what is coat bullion. Right in the description. You can click and figure it out. Right? So, this is a moist heat cooking method that consists of poaching, simmering and boiling. Right? Clear with this? This is a three different method that generally we use it for summer method clear ingredients are cooked by being submerged in hot liquid clear with this right this is like merged in a hot liquid and uh, this is the method which is the poaching simmering and boiling but each of these methods have a different temperature to cook this is all about ingredients are cooked by being submerged in hot liquid as simple as that. Clear with this method. Let's turn the page. So next we have a tampe or tampe. The pronunciation clear. A fermented soya product which is a dense meaty texture. Right. So this is about a soya product and it has it is very dense and a meaty texture. Clear with this. A traditional Indonesian soya product that is made from fermented soya beans. Clear. It is made by a natural culturing and controlled fermentation process you know like when you do fermentation or when you go for the natural culturing process it is very very important to like keep eye on that product because uh, it really matters the taste texture everything to the when it comes to the end product that binds soybean into a cake form so it is a natural culturing process controlled fermentation process and that fermentation process helps to bind soybean into a cake form Clear? So, tampe uh, has uh, more protein. I can say like uh, more than tofu, right? More than tofu. This has uh, more protein, fiber, iron, and potassium. How it tastes? Nutty flavor. And here the cooking method is like uh, just like tofu. You know what? Like just a pan, a little bit of oil, and just a chunk of that uh, kind of a, a paneer or like kind of a tofu. Just turn it up, brown it up, and add in the sauce. Want to have just like that? You can have it. There's nothing uh, kind of a, a cooking method that we generally use for this, right? Or you can use like a pan seared or like a shallow fry, deep fry, whatever you like. You can do it here, right? So this is all about the tampe and tampe. Guys, clear with this. Let's see. Today's note is all about ganache. So I have explained uh, all the way about ganache and also how to remember this ratio i'll give you a trick so let's figure out about the ganache and their ratio right here we go ganache it's a uniquely versatile right we can use for filling dip spread frosting topping or layering cake wow so much thing in one right made from chocolate and cream simple as that only chocolate and cream only two ingredients right now we'll see the ratio dark chocolate and the ratio of a cream is one is to one so this is fixed okay clear 
let me tell you one more thing which is very very important to understand that why this varies why this is also not as one is to one why we just can't just make them one is to one one is to one let me tell you the reason here milk and white chocolate are soft in nature you getting me this is the only reason right and hence required a more chocolate to set means stably right and to improve handling we require a consistency right so we can easily handle so just to improve handling we change the ratio right and why this is because of the milk and the white chocolate are soft in nature right and that's the reason dark chocolate always one is to one and when it comes to this one is varies but how to remember this one let me tell you here 2.5 is to 1 and 1.5 is to 1 this is what generally people follow but i use 1.5 is to 1 this is like something a nice uh can i say like uh uh, uh combination right which helps me to improve in handling it right and when it comes to white chocolate it's the cream is three is to one but when i use it's two is to one right so you try this ratio i think you'll be really happy to handle the ganache right this is an additional tip that i want to share with you so if you can go through with this ratio would be great right otherwise uh, the typical ratio is this one right one is to one to 2.5 is to one and three is to one clear but here we go this ratio may change based on the requirement for each product flavor texture thicken depend on you that how you want to change it that's the reason i share with you that this is what my ratio right that what i like to i like to deal with when it comes to ganache clear with this so here the trick what is this dark right the first letter is d here is the milk m and here is w means the first letter is w so according to the a b c d right according to this d comes first right then m and the last w clear so d means always one is to one anyhow you can even figure it out like dark chocolate means one is to one there's nothing change let me tell you here the cream where you will see cream cream is something which is constant so this is like one 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 when it comes to cream everything is one 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 so this is like fixed right when but we always confuse when it comes to milk and white because the dark we can easily remember one is to one there's nothing change in it but when it comes to milk and white it's a little difficult to remember that which one is like 1.5 or 2 is to 1 or 2.5 is to 1 3 is to 1 right so according to the alphabet you can see m right then w right it so a b c d then comes m then comes w right so milk will be after this right means in comes to 2 1 1.5 or you can go for 2.5 right and the w is the last so it will become to the larger number 1 1.5 or 2.5 when it comes to white is straight 3 is to 1 or 2 is to 1 right so little lesser than this and more than this clear so this is in the middle so this will help you to remember that yes after dark milk comes and milk after milk white comes right and white and which comes between is always so whatever comes in between is always in 0.5 you can see and when comes the last is the larger number the larger digit you're gonna find like 2 or 3 and here is like 1.5 or 2.5 and dark is constant clear with this <laughs> so this is all about my trick that how i remember so i don't really i don't really mug up this whole things i just try to understand and uh, how to remember for longer time this is what my trick if you like this trick please do comment right it takes a lot to understand and find a trick and explaining every single thing takes a lot i hope you guys clear with this terms and the trick about ganache and it's all about the culinary terms right so till then culinary terms i'll see you in the next informative video <laughs> bye bye